Hello, Super Herd, and welcome back to Cattails. In the last episode, we finished spring. Well, sort of, we're about to finish it. Um, I think, yeah, we're all good to finish things up. We got all the stuff done in the spring festival. I purchased a blue ladybug, and in the next day, it'll be summer, which means we're officially in year two. So let's go ahead and go to sleep and see what summer gives us. Let's go see what, see what spring gives us, but that's what we just finished. And now, ah. Uh, it's the dawn of a new season. Five more experience for us. Let's go check it out. I'm excited. Maybe Coco will be out here? No, he won't, okay. Uh, well, Misty, how are you doing? It's been one year since I've met you, you know. All right, so that's very cool. I mean, nothing seems to crazy happen since the beginning of the next year. Oh, hey, Zebra, are you like ask me here to ask me on a date or something? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give you that. There you go, so, uh, oh, hey, Zebra. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zebra, do you want my Valerian? Don't answer that, it's yours now. Okay, you're welcome, and thank you. Uh, I don't really need it too much. Zebra, how goes the day? Birds are hard to sneak up on. They can see so far. Just keep practicing and stay low. What can we give him? I can go ahead and give him this mouse. I have like so many uh, things to eat now. There you go. And what about you, Doc? How you been doing? Uh, I think one of the healthiest things we can do in our lives is to take risks. Are they scary? Sure, but so is everything that is worthwhile. The trick is that you've gotta believe in yourself every step of the way. I gotta believe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a golden seal. The golden seal. Wow, thanks for this thing, me, Zebra. I love these. Good, good, good. Okay. Um. See, so yeah, a couple goals today. First, we might as well make our way over to the uh, the the town center. You know what I'm talking about? The temple, so that we can deliver this blue ladybug before I like die or drop it or eat it or something stinky like that. It costed me ten festival tokens, so I don't want to waste it. If I could find anything to hunt on the way there, that'd be awesome. But then after that, we will stock up on food, we'll stock up on healing items, and now with my new ability to call in um, allies, I'm gonna see if that helps me with getting this extra gem that's been really plaguing me, because it's super difficult. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Mm. Yeah, not happening, sorry. Let me go ahead and eat the frog right now. We're at almost 30%, now we're at almost 75%, cool. I'm gonna move my microphone, it's sort of in the way. I scared away everybody, but there's animals all over the place because it's summer now, which is just awesome. All right, oh, I mean, right now in real life, it's anything but, it's still just a couple days before Christmas, which is really exciting. But uh, let me go here and take the rose and go down. And, hmm, no, that's not what we need. We do need to catch fish, and maybe it'll be more helpful now that it's summer, I can only hope. But here's our one and only blue ladybug we need to drop off, so hold that, and then drop it. There we go, so we need one more white firefly and two yellow butterflies, which I'm pretty sure we found in the yellow butterflies in the past, it's just a matter of we sold them, because we didn't even know what the pillars were at that point. Okay, so everything else, the birds, I really don't know if we're gonna run into, I can only hope there's like cardinal, and then I think a jay, or a woodpecker or something. Then we got a bunch of fish, and the fish are what's really worrying me at this point. Am I gonna be able to get fish? Hmm. I don't know, we'll have to find out one way or another, but I'm not finding out now. If I could get up to 102 experience to increase my fighting, I just don't think that's gonna happen. But either way, we'll try to make our way over to the spot I need to be for, uh, you know, uh, um, for the, the gem, not this part, but there is a, uh, it's way to the left. Also, where are our battles today? I don't wanna take too much damage, but I'll try to keep that stuff in mind. I probably shouldn't have used my speed up because I'm immediately wasting it. Whoop. Ah, that's fine, that's fine, I got something. Okay, see, so yeah, we'll stock up back at home because I have the chests now and that makes it so helpful and useful. We got ta catnip, not tacnip. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, catnip, very, very good. Well, pick up that, there you go. I see a squirrel over there, I'm not gonna, oh, that's a blue butterfly. You know, I could have used a ladybug version of you, but we're just looking for a yellow one. As long as we can find a yellow one, and if not, we can just hopefully, boom, earn it up during the uh, summer event. That might be what we need to do. But uh, I'll be keeping my eye out for it and hopefully a yellow butterfly will fly by me. You know, that'd be great. Oh hey, there's a rabbit. Who are you running from? Oh, Sandy, Dusty, I can't attack you guys right now. So I'm just gonna leave you be. Because I need to save my slash for if I really need it later. I don't wanna end up accidentally using it. Anyways, we're gonna talk about the cat of the day. The cat of the day is, hmm. Who is the cat of the day? Uh, you know what? We'll make it, ooh, I have a hard time deciding. We'll make it Tippy, one of the three musketeers. I've talked about the three musketeers in the past. Uh, Tippy is one out of the three. If you don't know, uh, the musketeers are Marco, Tippy, and Shire. 
and Tippy is one of the two girls. Tippy and Shire are both really tiny, but Tippy is very interesting because Tippy sort of was like a big turnaround story for her because she was definitely the scaredest of the bunch. She would never leave. Because if you don't know the story, maybe the cats of the day will be the musketeers. Maybe that'll make it easier. Um, but basically, the three musketeers were born in about February of this year, uh, 2017, and they lived outside for the first couple months of their life. And we tried to catch them, we did. But it was just a matter of, it's hard to catch one of them, especially when they're so tiny that they won't even activate like the pedal of the cage. And you can't like run at them and grab them because it'll traumatize them and then they'll never trust you. What are they, she doesn't have anything really new. No, not looking like 300, we almost got that. So why don't we sell some stuff to her? But that's why, oh, am I starved? Yeah, yeah, I'll solve that, don't worry. There we go. But uh, that's why they sort of grew up. They were about four or five months old when we finally did catch them. We had to do this, this very ridiculous sort of, we set up a, a like basically a pulley system with our door. We have like this sort of front patio, like enclosed thing. That's like this little room where you're supposed to take off your shoes if you can wear shoes, unlike me. Um, and you just put the shoes down and then you walk into the house itself. So what we did was we set up like a little rope that went inside the house and basically we put out some food so that they could go inside the enclosure and then we pulled it closed really quickly. And that was our best bet of ever catching them because obviously if we caught one, the other two would get scared and run away and probably never come back and that'd be awful. Anyways, uh, so that's how we caught them. We caught them all at once that way and that was a little bit of a mess but it worked and that's all that matters, right? And they're all home with us now and they seem happy now. Before they were constantly stressed and you could really see it. There we go. That should be good. I think I sold the uh, the tortoise shell. I think I did. Uh, yeah, okay, she already gave us her gift. Thank you so much for that gift, Missy. Oh, there's a purple butterfly. Not quite what I'm looking for. I do need to make sure I hold on to one, which I did. What am I in here for? Nothing. <laughs> oh, you know, no, 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 I, I, I'm in, supposed to be in here. Let me drop off the one butterfly we have in the one butterfly spot, which would be here or at least in the bug spot. The Valerians I can keep, or not the Valerians, but the Golden Seals. So let me just go ahead and organize everything. This thing is just so much easier to do with mouse and keyboard. And then over here, uh, boop, boop, boop. And then organize that. No, don't, yeah, don't teleport. <laughs> I just got back from there. So now I should be able to do it like this. I'll have like one or two raspberries, four Golden Seals, or yeah, they're Golden Seals. And then we got like two Marigolds, I forget what these do. Oh, well, I think they'll make our things stronger, so that might be good. And then I need some food. We got a lot of toads, and like usually people don't like toads too much, so we'll go ahead and do that. And that should be enough hunger to last us a while. So with all that combination, we should be pretty good. I think I'll turn off my teleport, like I'll exchange it, do nothing, um, for something else. Because we have Wild Slash, calling forth your feral roots, you deficit your foe with a slash that packs a punch. I think I'll put that over the teleport because we don't need the teleport right now. So I'll take off the warp. Let me get the mouse out of the way. Yes, and equip it. And then, there's also deep cut. Strike all nearby cats with the wounds. Well, that won't hurt. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if that'll hurt bats then. It hurts cats, but maybe not bats. So we'll just do wild slash for now. We can't afford it anyway. So yes, equip that. That's all we have for right now. So hopefully it works. And hopefully calling in allies will actually help us with the bats. We can only hope, right? And we can pick up more stuff on our way there, because why not? And then the next day, if things don't go well this time, I'll retreat, I'll try to focus on earning up more experience for more levels and such, and then I'll just focus on fishing for the rest of the episode. Yeah, the Musketeers, I guess, can all be the cats of the day, because you know they, they're all three of their stories are pretty similar. Beyond that, though, of course, they all have their own personalities. Why Tippy is really turned around the most is she was always the, the, the most scared one. We always got so worried because she would never, ever leave their little hidey spot. Obviously, they had like a spot they would hide in in the backyard when growing up for the first couple months. Then, she, and, like sometimes we'd only see. Shire and Marco, and we were worried that something happened to Tippy. But obviously we didn't want to infiltrate their space because once again, they might leave and never come back. Our best bet was just to give them food, give them proper you know, water and everything, and just let them do their cat thing. Uh, but eventually she started coming out and we were lucky enough to catch all of them and they're all safe in our home. But now Tippy is way more forward. Oh, hey, look, this is the summer quiz. We could do that really quick. A great treasure I carry, are you worthy of it? I shall judge that for myself. Answer my three riddles correctly and I may bestow my treasure upon you. Who is the leader of the forest colony? The mayors. 
That is correct. What does the Ur Valerian? Gosh darn every time. I gotta think about it. If you speed boost scares, it doesn't scare off enemies. The Valerian gives you a speed boost. That is correct. What is the name of the shopkeeper in the forest colony? That is Ember. That is correct. You answer wisely and justly. My treasure belongs to you now. Hey, we got ourselves a power paw. Nice. You are filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your maximum health is now increased. Yeah, we got you. We got you. We got you dancing with the turtle. Mm. And here's the entrance. So perfect timing. I was just checking to see if my door was open. For a second, I thought it was. I was like, oh gosh, everybody's sleeping. No, no, okay, we're good. <laughs> Beneath the canyon, I was like, I got really nervous. I was like, oh gosh, I just disrupt everybody's day. All right, got it, got it, got it, got it. Come on, come on. I'm gonna try to survive for as long as I can without pulling in my allies. Hey, buddy, come on. Come on, there we go. There's those guys done. So now I'm gonna take care, if I could take care of these three. Boom, and then boom, and then boom, and then boom. Yeah, that was good. And that has a 29 second cooldown. Oh, here we go, here's a strategy. Here's a strategy for you. Oh, oh, don't hit me. Okay, so it's, it's sort of problematic after a while because you can only land so many hits that way. Gosh, come on. There's one more, there's another one. I'm definitely starting to get a little low on health. There we go. Oh, is that it? That's not, okay. So for this one, I'm gonna call on some teammates and they are actually getting them. That's awesome, ready, set, boom. That got like at least one. It might've gone multiple. Um, I need some health though. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this and that. And that should help. And that one too. Boom. And then, oh, yeah, that worked. Oh no, but they both got taken out already? Holy cow, guys, you were weaker than I thought. And that's gonna be it for sure because there's no way I'm lasting 400 seconds in here. I mean, I guess I could just run around for a while and I'm sure that would eventually work. Oh gosh, I can't do it that way. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely can't. Here, let me go ahead. And what is this doing? You can use it for destroying, oh, I don't know if that's gonna work very well anymore, or at all. Invigorizes cats, okay. I'll eat some berries. I don't know if that'll really help me too much. Jeez, guys, you don't ever calm down. This has to be the last wave though, right? Oh, there's one. Come on, come on, come on, last two more seconds so I can hit you with the, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, 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 I, I should be able to handle one back. Is that it? Yes, okay, we did it! Barely, but I, oh no, it's not done. Oh no, what is this saying? Left of center, third strike. Left of center, third strike. Hit this three times, maybe? Strike first where the sun rises. Strike second where the sun sets. Oh gosh. The sun rises in the east, right? After the third strike, Hit right, then left. Ooh. Save the remnant from from the middle for last. So the first strike, and there it is waiting for us. Strike first where the sun rises, strike second where the sun sets. I think that's one. And then it would set on the opposite side. Strike third, left of center, third strike. And then finally, well, this one is, after the third strike, hit right and then left. But then also, save the remnant from the middle for last. So, this one. Boom. Boom, wait, 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 boom. And then finally, finally. That's it, yeah, we got on the first try, look at us, and we get. Another jewel, you should take this to the arcane pillar in the temple ruins. I don't have my teleport right now, or I gladly would. Jeez Louise, that was crazy, but I'm glad we did it. And we also have enough coins to ask Missy to marry us. I don't know if we should keep giving her stuff. I feel like we need to give her more stuff. I don't know what color her heart has to be to give her stuff, but I think people were saying it has to be white. I don't know then. I don't know what color her heart is right now. Anyways, let's try to catch some things on our way back home, because I have next to no health, and it would just be good to have some extra stuff. Ooh, no, I messed it up. You know what, fine. That's not the extra thing I'll have. I mean, I have plenty of that. I should probably just have some extra golden seals. I'll hold on to the uh, the merry gold for Missy, even though I do have butterflies now. All right, I'm so glad we got that done. Like, I'm so very happy. I would, have, I would help with battles today, but I ain't doing so great. So, we're gonna leave it be. Oh, get that screw off, I can. I just want the good experience. What I want. All right, you know what? If you're gonna run, then I didn't want you. 
We also, once again, we need to get fish. If I could get fish, I'd be pretty big. That's something we can focus on for the second half of today's episode. We're already halfway into today's episode. But yeah, I hope you guys have been excited and happy that I'm back to posting more cattails. Ah, tea. Tea is fantastic. So right now what I gotta do is active skills. I'm going to unequip Wild Slash. Yes, unequip it. And then turn on Warp Temple. Yes, equip it. And just teleport. And see how that works. Hopefully we can get to wherever we need to be. Uh, warp into Secret Temple, or Sacred, not Secret. Go on down. Hey, Coco! Great, we finally have the pink jewel. Let's put it in the Arcane Pillar and see what happens. I don't know, I'm a little nervous to be honest. Like, what could this unlock? Cause this is only our second pillar completed. The first pillar unlocked all the other pillars. Could this unlock like a different room? Incredible, the incarnate Arcane Pillar's power has been restored. Four pillars to go, we can do it. So nothing happens. Oh, that sort of stinks. I mean, I really don't know what happens when they complete all the pillars with the game ends. Is that like the main game completed? I don't know where these Blue Jays and Cardinals are. Hopefully we can find them soon. I still haven't found any of the tiger butterflies, which is difficult. Or a mackerel, and then the other stuff is fish as well. I mean, I do have some time if I want to poke around for some stuff like that. Now would probably be a good time to do it. It's getting a little late, yeah. Getting a little dark out, but not too dark. I mean, I probably should go the way of the, oh, it's just I don't have any health, and if I do run into trouble, I don't want to, you know? So next time I'm back at full health, we'll go back to the uh, Mystic Colony and try to earn up more trust there, because I can take a look. I'm at 43% with the Mystic Colony. At some point, I need to earn up enough so that I can visit their shops to see what they have to offer me. Because they might have everything I need and then some, you never know. Anyways, oh hey! Are you White Firefly? Okay, I needed one of you. Here's another one. Hold on, got it. So there we go, that's another thing I needed to deposit. So that's fantastic. I mean, I still need to get the two Tiger Butterflies, but I'm almost positive I got them last summer. So hopefully, it's only a matter of time. Oh, who's this? It's Torch. And King. Hello, Torch and King. I wonder if Torch knows Ember. That'd be pretty funny. Hmm. All right, let me keep going south for now. There's another white, or yeah, a tiger, whatever. No, it's not a tiger, it's a it's a white firefly. But I don't need it anymore, so I'm not worrying about it. There's a mouse over there. Once again, not really too worried about it. Let me just eat that. That gives me 42%. Move down here. And get that. What else do we have going on around here? Well, I mean, not really too much. Oh, there was a crow. It's gonna take a long time for me to get back, but that isn't the biggest deal. I just hope that there's not too many Mystic Colony jerks around here. Oh, look at this. This is all nice and sunny now. I can't go down there, but it's nice and sunny now, which is nice <laughs> and sunny. Okay, so I can't go into the water from this angle, but this is nice. I haven't really been to this little section. It's not really much of a section, but hey. It's just cool to see the little uh, stuff by the sea. I got more of these. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for right here. Just, they move around a lot, like a lot, a lot. It's really, really hard to catch them. And I think I need to start pulling out my hunting ability again to really start getting these guys. It seems like there's more out during the night. Yes, okay, what was that? That was a mackerel. I think I need a mackerel, so, oh geez, there's two here. I don't know if each fish has a little bit of a different thing going on. Why can't I pick you up the sea bass? Now, I definitely don't need a sea bass. I'm almost positive. Hey, Runt, you're, you're cute. It's a cute name. I definitely don't need any scallops. I, I've delivered all the scallops I need to deliver. There might be a catnip up here again. Let me look for that. Because sometimes there is a catnip, sometimes there's not. I don't quite see it. It might be around, but I might just not be looking in the right spot. If anything, it'll be over here to the left. Yep, there it is, okay. So I have two catnips to sell now, right? I do, okay, cool. I don't have too much room to catch too much more, so I wanna eat these berries. Okay, I'm sorry my voice is giving out. I'm trying, trying to keep it together here. <laughs> All right, um, more fish though. If I can cat, catch, I can catch more fish. That'd be great. Uh, I don't see any around here though, unfortunately. I mean, it is the second now of uh, summer. Is it, can we go one more to the left? Some people, I don't know if anybody's trolling me, but some people were saying that if you swim far enough to the south, you will get to a secret island. And that sounds so cool, but so much like a trick. And I'm like, oh no, ooh, 
Oh, I don't know. What if I do it and I just die? It's just all really embarrassing. So I'll try at some point. I'll probably try to level up. Oh, that's a red butterfly. Not exactly, ooh, what a jump. What a jump. That current is way too strong to push against. So like, that's crazy. Oh gosh, I might die right here. I might die right here. Oh, that was scary. See, like, I would need really high level swimming to be able to do that. But hey, I mean, that's why we're in year two now. Uh, what can I get now? I can eat this. Get that. I'm not getting incredibly lucky with the fishing. I got some fish. I think some of those might be able to get gone later. For now, if I could go back and sleep, though, that'd be good for restoring some health. I would prefer that, but I still think today's goal is going to be to continue fishing. Yeah, you better run, buddy. You better run. You are about to make the wrong decision. Jeez, I gotta go way up there, then. It would be nice to have the teleport home feature, but at the same time, I like all my other abilities. It's just, oh, there's too many. I actually do need more golden seals, because then I can give more to Missy. That'd be fantastic. At this point, I'm gonna need more chests. This is gonna be a lot. All right. That being said, I'm gonna start avoiding some stuff here. And I never thought I'd be in this position where we have almost too much stuff. With how much I struggled at the beginning of this game, I'm happily surprised with our turnaround. All right, move it up to the north, to the north. Mm -mm. And we are good. Quickly sleep so that we can pop back out and be ready for the day. Because while, you know, you don't need to sleep, obviously now that we know, it's still useful too, because not only do we get a good chunk of experience, five experience, I don't think anything else gives that much experience off of just doing one task. You know, like taking things out usually take, gives us two or three experience, but never five, you know? So, Missy, I got something to give you. It's 11 in the morning. Uh, up bright and early today, just to give you a marigold. Hey, okay, so give the marigold. Well, at least you have good taste. Uh, are you here to like ask me on a date? The air's too humid and my fur's going crazy. I can't deal with this. Oh, I'm sorry. Having a bad day. She has a blue heart still. Okay, that's fine. Um, let me get back over here though. And talk to Ember. Visit shop. Oh, I don't want to buy anything. Sorry, sorry. Uh, visit shop, sell items. The catnip. Mm, I don't think I really want to sell too much more, especially since, well maybe the, I'll sell the scallops because I don't really need the scallops. And same thing with the conch. Oh, the conch actually sells for a lot. How much is that? 15? Not bad. I'll hold on for a moment because I don't know if I need to deliver that. I'm pretty sure I don't, but I'm over 327 now. It's just a matter of, I don't know if I should buy the marriage yet. It doesn't leave beautiful shell found on the beach. Cool. I'm going to teleport to the, uh, you know where. Take another sip of tea because that's all I want to do in my life. Just drink tea all day. Okay, maybe I will be able to find the ability to go to the Mystic Colony today, but I'd rather spend it fishing. Okay, so I will be able to deposit the rest of the white fireflies. And then over here, one mackerel. Well, you know what I caught? One mackerel, which means a curious runes appear on the pillar. You read them, your kindness is well known, but there remains one thing I lack. Seek the red jewel in a place with twisting branches and roots. Journey to the weeping root to find the jewel. The Weeping Roots entrance is locked. A key has been handed down to the one called Elisa. Earn Elisa's trust to obtain the key. Then investigate the Weeping Root to restore balance to this pillar. So we basically have to use Elisa to get what we want. Okay, great. Um, Elisa is somebody from the Mystic Colony, so maybe we really should be going to the Mystic Colony right now. Hmm. I mean, I do want to, one, one thing, double check what do we need from the other pillar? But we we finish one pillar, we move on to the other. That's fantastic. Um, one trout, two salmon, two catfish, and the other one is sea bass, which we of course have already gotten a fair amount, so I'll eat that. Wow, that filled me up a lot. So these are probably all going to be sea-based fish. So I'll try to just stay by the sea for the next coming episodes, but. Now that I finished one pillar and we have something we can do, that's really what I was looking for. So go to Elisa, which I'm almost positive she's in the Mystic Colony. Oh, hey, it's Panda. You know what, Panda? Do you really want to mess with this? I'm on Tough Kitty. Sorry, that was awful. But you started it, buddy. You started it. So what can I offer to the Mystic Colony? That's what I'll be trying to answer at this very moment. What if I showed up to the Mystic Colony and just pulled up some of my friends? You know, I had that ability. Will they cause havoc? Because I'm trusted, but they might not be. That'd be awful. I was like, hey guys, I'm here to cause havoc. 
All right, I'm sneaking down here as quickly as I can now. That is probably the fall thing right here then, the little leaf. Try to keep that in mind. I gotta remember, whoop, I can give three things to the Mystic Colony a day. So if I really stay with that, I should be able to get through it pretty quickly. Maybe I should offer them the conch shell. I mean, it's not a very useful thing, but it is a very expensive thing. They really liked it when I gave them catnip. Maybe I could find more catnip around here. I don't really know where there is catnip in this area. At least I don't have it memorized. But maybe with the conch shell, it'll be sort of similar. I mean, I don't exactly need the cash. It's nice to have, but I have so many animals, like, you know, like hunted that I could sell if I was really that much in a bun. Look at this tree. Yeah, that, this is, this is the place he's talking about. Weeping room, yeah, so this is where we gotta go once we actually get the key. They don't currently have, no crows I think were a good couple percent. Too bad I'm not gonna experience it. Oh well. <laughs> Can't get everything, I suppose. Anyways, it's starting to get late, so if I really wanna go there, I better go there now. So I'm, I'm only one space away. These frogs are running, and they're slow. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, you know what, I don't care too much. <laughs> I'll let you be, I'm in a good mood. All right, so where is, hmm, this, is this Elisa? No, this is Savannah. She's not there right now. I thought that she, she definitely sells stuff. You know, that, that got confirmed to us last time. Why is this one so open compared to the others? Here's the Lisa then. How are you? Ask about Weeping Root Key. I'm not sure I can give you the key to, we to the Weeping Root. Perhaps if the Mystic Colony trusted you a little bit more, I could have a different response. Okay then, so we know exactly what we wanna do. Be respectful to all members in the Mystic Colony, otherwise you and I are gonna have a problem. So first off, let's go ahead and give something more difficult to find like this black hair. Give it to the Mystic Colony. 46.50, I'm not sure how much that increased it then. Uh, the conch shell though, 46.50. Arcani, oh, thanks for this gift. That was just 3%, so it was basically a waste. Um, and then finally, we would give him a rose. Uh, what would be the most useful out of everything here? Let's try a sea bass. Uh, this is a good gift. Oh, okay, 40, was that, what was that before? Was it 49 or 46? I think this was worse. Um, I'll tell the colony that they should start offering you their services as well, you seem trustworthy enough. So there we go, there's our 50% bonus. What about now? You're trying to get underneath the weeping rune? I'll go unlock that for you. Wow, that was easy! Hey, what do you know? The engine of the weaving room has been locked. That's awesome. I thought we were gonna have to earn up more stuff with her. Well, then the last thing I need to do is I wanted to see if Savannah, <laughs> our little turtle pal just walking right through the water. The only unfortunate thing is that I don't see Savannah. Uh, Elise is done the inside of decorated with exquisite baubles and colorful shells from faraway lands. Cool, so that's really all we needed. That was really easy. There's Slip, yo Slip. Greetings, kitten. Where are you off to? You're a strange looking one. Where are you from? I don't think I've met you before. My name's Slip. Be seeing you around. All right, Slip, you're cool. I like it. Can I go in here now? I can't. <laughs> okay, well, that's good stuff. I need to make my way around then and you know check it out. I wanna check out the uh, new challenge. We won't quite do it in today's episode, but I'm glad it's here so that I know for myself. Um, Pick up some of these as well. Ready? Pick it up. Pick it up. So where was it? Where am I? No, wrong thing. No, also wrong thing. Weeping root one down, okay. Oh, hey, I accidentally caught in some people. Oh, well, that's fine. I don't think they're gonna get in too much trouble. I hope that doesn't lower my reputation. But yo, if I lower my reputation, will this close up again? Who knows, Squire, don't do it, Fluffers! Okay, well, I'm not gonna do this right now, but beneath the weeping root. Oh, geez, it's another battle thing? I'm not really prepared to do this right now, but it's good to know it's here. It is something we'll tackle in another episode for sure, but for now I gotta run, I gotta skedaddle, cause Earl, Fluffers, and Squire don't like me being around these parts. Ah! All right, grab, no, I can't grab that. Okay, it's fine. Is there any other place where there's an ocean? Honestly, I haven't been to the top right very much at all. It seems like there is, like if we go to the map, like there's either water or something on the top right over here. It says Highland, so it might be actually a mountain. That sounds like it'd be fun to adventure. Obviously, just because we're in year two doesn't mean we've accomplished everything we need to accomplish. Mm -mm, this kitty has got more to do. Okay, well, for now, all we're focused on is getting back home and calling it a day for today's episode because we've made some good progress while we walked into a mighty battle. I'm sort of regretful that I already used our, our call for teammates, but at the same time, look at how easy we won that battle. A couple more coins for us. See you guys. I have a full inventory right now. But uh, I'll use something like that, and I'll eat something like that. Cool. 
I've deposited everything else right now, right? Deposited the white firefly. Yeah, I think I've deposited everything else I can need. I'm just looking for a yellow butterfly. I mean, preferably two. I'm almost positive I found at least one last year. There's Plutet. Bye, Plutet. It'd be cool if maybe if you just defeated cats, it would like drop something. I don't know if that's the case. I mean, it's never happened to us. And how many cats have we defeated? So yeah, chances are it doesn't happen. Uh, pick that up. Then I'm gonna quickly try to make my way across, but this current is very strong. Oh gosh, I'm getting wiped away from the current. Oh gosh, that was scary. Maybe I could try it somewhere where the current's a little bit nicer. Yep, like over here. That was not fun. That was really scary. Gotta be careful of that kind of stuff. I mean, I can actually upgrade my fighting now if I wanted to, and I might. I don't know really what's gonna be thrown at us at this next trial. I might wanna try the trial once and see where we get, but who knows. Either way, gotta go one to the left. Don't really care who's in my way because, oh wait, I do care who's in my way because I really need to catch you. Please don't leave. Oh, no, come on. Ah, oh, that stinks, I let myself down. But I didn't know you could even find Blue Jays at this time of year. That's the first time we've ever seen one, as far as I'm concerned. But with that being said, that's all I'm concerned with today's episode of Cattails. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, today's episode of Cattails. If you watch this one video, make sure you comment disappointed zebra so now you've watched the end and that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.